Hundreds of thousands of local Catholics look to Bishop George Leo Thomas for leadership. He's been at the helm of the Diocese of Las Vegas for more than a year now. In his time here, he's faced challenges. New at 5, he sat down with our Jeff Gillen to talk about the local church he leads and where it's headed. That's right. Good evening, everybody. Bishop Thomas has a problem. His diocese is getting bigger. We have very significant population growth and not enough uh, parishes and not enough clergy. We have standing room only masses. That's what happens when your diocese of almost 40,000 square miles sees an influx of Catholics, reflecting the overall growth of our city. There are now more than 750,000 Catholics here, with Clark County, the bulk of the population, growing, forcing the diocese to grow with it. We're uh, evaluating the, the geographic places where we need new churches. And new schools. Here's the new Catholic high school. Thomas was installed as bishop in May 2018, coming here from Helena, Montana, where he shepherded his diocese there through a sex abuse scandal. In April here, he released the names of 33 local priests credibly accused of sex abuse. Of the 33, 21 were dead, the remainder removed from their positions. Thomas tells me the Las Vegas diocese has zero tolerance for sex abuse. I've made the commitment that Every single case that we receive will, will be handed over to law enforcement. He says the diocese has tough procedures on screening priests and procedures to spot signs of possible abuse. We have done everything humanly possible to prevent the issue of child abuse, but I have been around the block. I, I would say it would be naive and foolish to say that we've got it totally under control. That's one issue. He's also concerned about Las Vegas' homeless population, estimated at more than 5,200. Catholic Charities helps feed and house, but Thomas says it's just one part of the solution to a complex problem that includes mental illness and addiction. And so there has to be a, uh, a more sophisticated approach to homelessness than simply giving uh, people shelter every night and then turning them loose on the street again. He now considers himself a Las Vegan, Rome may have other plans, but Thomas hopes he stays. I hope that I can uh, finish out my tenure as a bishop here and, uh, and look at retirement in Las Vegas. And Thomas replaced Bishop Joseph Pepe, who retired. I'm Jeff Gillett, News 3.